Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, the Yuke Noise Siblings. Today we're going to build this Lego set from Ninjago. And it's Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon. The minifigures here are Golden Jay, Golden Kai, Golden Zane, Golden Cole, Golden Oni Lloyd, Redstone Brute, Redstone Brute, Redstone Warrior, and a Crystal King. This is how big uh, Golden Oni Lloyd is. Including our Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon. But it is very big. Okay, let's start! Wow. We are finally done after so long, such a long time of placing bricks on each other, building all of this. We're finally done. So, this is Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon. They, it came with a Lego se separator. I love this color. And Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon. This is Jay's dragon head. This is Kai's dragon head. This is Cole's dragon head. And this is Zane's dragon head. Let's put this aside as we will discuss the features of the of Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon after we look at these minifigures that came with the set. So, we have Golden Zane, Golden Cole, Golden Kai, Golden J, and Goni, Oni Golden Lloyd, Venstone Brute, another Venstone Brute, and as well as Overlord and another and well actually Venstone Warrior. Let's Cole has his scythe of Earth. Now let's put Cole away. Zane has his shurikens of ice. Then 
Vengestone Brute. Vengestone Brute. Fighting all the ninjas. This is a Vengestone Warrior. The Overlord. He fights Golden Oni Lloyd and Lloyd in the final season. This entire set, including the dragon, came from the final season in Lego Ninjago Crystallized. If you haven't watched Lego Ninjago series, I, rem I recommend that you watch it. It's on Netflix because it is very amazing to watch, but this video is not sponsored by Lego. Ping, ping, ping. This is Kai, and he has a sword and the sword of fire, two swords, and J. All right, I can't really remove it, but he has his nunchucks of lightning. They're not in his hands because it is right now in a build. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Now, you may see where Jay's ninchucks are hiding. This is one of the heads. This is one of the heads. And there are duplicates, so then you can put it here. And so then the ninjas can hold their weapons in battle. But right now, the Overlord is somewhat standing or sitting in his throne, waiting for Lloyd and Lord Garmadon. Sadly, Lord Garmadon did not come in this set, but we still have nine minifigures. But including the dragon, that would be 13 or just 10. The scythe, fire, I mean, the scythe of earth, sword of fire, and shurikens, shurikens of ice, then the ninchucks of lightning for Jay. Goodbye. Now, we bring in Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon. It's actually very heavy. Now we are going to talk about the features of Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon. First feature is that wait a second. Lloyd can sit on the saddle on the back of Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon. Let's take him off. And he he has an adju fully adjustable tail, but sadly it does not wiggle. It can reach Zane, Zane's head, Jay's head, Kai's head, and head, and not, and sadly not Cole's head. This is a very big set. I have no idea how many pieces is in this set. Oh my god, fell. Okay, so, but this is not all the features. I'm going to save the best one for last. But all of these heads are adjustable. You can make them shoot out their icy blast, some a flame, or just roar and shake the entire ground, or even <sighs> electrocute Revenge Stone Warriors. They all work together to stop the Overlord because Lloyd cannot do it by himself.
also, if you're already at this point, there's already spoilers if you didn't watch the season. Lloyd's Ult Golden Ultra Dragon. Helped Lloyd to survive falling from the Overlord's flying rock. That's one spoiler. There's a flying rock. Ne next, it next feature is. Let's see. Oh, by the way, sorry that I forgot to say, but it also has a limit. It cannot go side to side, and it'll stop if you put it all the way here. Um, yeah, it'll, it'll, it, it won't be able to move very freely. Not by much, bro. This is adjustable. You can move the. Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon's butt side to side. Oh no, he, oh look, he's wagging his tail. Looks like he's happy. Looks like he likes and wants to defeat Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon. Uh oh, that's another feature. That you saw. All, all of the feet, I mean legs, or arms, whatever you call them, and the hind legs, front legs, are all adjustable, all down to their feet. You can sort of move them to the torso or butt, to the torso, or away from the torso. You, you could move the feet around to make you to make them steady. And now we're at the last feature. It's the best feature. But you may know about it if you've watched someone else's video. But if you twist this, what do you think will happen? Three, four, three, two, one. The wings can expand. All, both wings have the are able to adjust the wingspan using Lego Technic. Sure, you could just do this, but doing this will make it more cool. Now, Golden Lloyd's Golden Ultra Dragon and Lloyd have just defeated the Overlord. gonna swing boom goodbye and it looks like they're flying home flying away home back to master Wu. Mm -hmm.